Hi guys, welcome to Excel and MathSci. Today we'll be looking at a question here where it says P minus 4, 5, Q minus 2, minus 2 and R41 are vertices of a triangle, PQR, and as shown in this diagram, and find the equation of PS, okay, that's the altitude from P. So in order to do this question, what we need to do, first of all, we know the altitude is perpendicular to the line uh, QR, to this line. So what we need to do, first of all, is find the gradient of QR. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just write the points here. So that's my Q, and this is my point R, which is 4, 1. I'll call this X1, Y1 x2, y2. Now, in order to find the gradient, we'd use m, so I'll call the gradient m, q, r, so that's the, the gradient of q, r here. And that's equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So my y2 is, of course, is 1, so I just substitute these points in, now you just need to be careful with this minus 2, so that will be minus 2 over, now my x2 is 4 minus minus 2. So then that will give me 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 over 4 plus 2. And that of course will give me 3 over 6 simplifies down to 1 over 2. So the gradient of QR is a half. Now the, the gradient of PS, of course, would be minus 2. Why? Because M of QR, the product of the gradient of QR times the product of of the gradient of PS would equal to minus 1. And of course we have QR, which we already know is a half, times PS, that should equal to minus 1, so the gradient, of course, is 2. Sorry, minus 2. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use this so we'll use our m is equal to minus 2 for ps and we use one of the points which we already have and we use the point p which is minus 4 5 and substitute that into y minus b m bracket x minus a and of course this is my a and this is my b so that would be y minus B, which is 5, and that's equal to M, which is minus 2, X. Now I've got the minus 4 there, so a minus minus will become a plus 4 here. Then that would give me Y minus 5, and that's equal to minus 2X minus 8. And then tidying this up, bringing the 5 to this side, of course 5 will become positive, so that will be minus 2x and minus 3. And that would be my final answer. Okay guys, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, give, give it a thumbs up and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you for watching.